Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. In the last episode, we uh, we backtracked through Brio, and we got to this landing station. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing on. Also in the last episode, my brain wouldn't function. Uh, and now I understand what this missile deal is for as I shoot the fucking control panel. Alrighty. I almost just took off without even thinking. Awesome. Lock on a command, command icons with Z to initiate a bombing run. Okay. Surely there's no, like, free flight anything, obviously. Save and enter ship, please. Of course. Alright. So, now I think we can... We can, uh, break Maldium? I, I still don't remember exactly what it is. Malzium? Something like that. Um, hopefully a gunship can do it. If not, then I don't have a clue. Well, if we just go to the fiery air, air dock, there's no way we're just gonna be able to get there. Maybe not, then. I'm not sure. Uh, let's take a trip to the fiery air dock and see. No, there's no, at least as of yet. Yeah, no, because it just shows the ship flying. Okay. Yeah, nope. Okay. So it didn't... I was thinking maybe it would, like, fly us over it. And then we'd see the fiery air dock. Or the, the malium thing. I'm still, I still don't remember exactly what to call it. It has something to do with the, uh, with the Leviathan. So we have to destroy it. I remember that much. I just don't remember the specifics exactly. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to the Thorn Jungle air dock. And see what Brio has in store for us over there. Surely nothing more dangerous than what's here. Maybe we were supposed to go to the Thorn Jungle air dock first. That's highly possible. Because <laughs> it doesn't really seem like we can do anything but go there, but we could always go here from the point that we opened it up. What are those? They look like something you'd see in like a science diagram, like nebula. Nebulae. No, they look like they look like sort of like atom structures, like molecular structures and whatnot. Can I scan them? I'm very interested. No, of course I can't. They're too high up. Of course, one of the most interesting creatures is something I can't scan. Um, ooh, this music is ominous. Is there anything here at the landing site? If I get on top of the ship, is there anything here? Not really. Okay. Well, that is a-okay. Strange statue there. Hi there. What's up, space pirate with PED? Oh, even hyper mode. Creature has entered hyper mode. Normal weapons deal less damage. Vulnerable to hyper mode attack. Okay, so... Is it a space pirate? I think it is. Pretty sure. That was a firework outside. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a space pirate. Now that I took the armor off. It just said creature, so I was like, eh. I'm not sure. Oh, great. Okay, well, 
I suppose if we can just keep it going till it auto vents, then we'll be impervious to damage, as you guys have stated. And there's really no no great downside. Nope, okay. Oh, I could have broken this. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. There was absolutely nothing in here. But over here, there has to have been something. For sure. Yes, a missile door that leads to a dead end at the very least, a vault. Which is probably a missile expansion if I had to guess. No, an energy tank! Oh my goodness. They're so easy to find in this game. I mean, I found, like, one, I think, that was hidden and that was at the bottom of that shaft, but the rest of them have just been sitting in rooms. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. So far, is the game feels a little more hand-holdy with the power-ups. Oh. Oh, fantastic. My Wii remote died. This is... Oh, God, this session of recording is just batting a fucking thousand right now. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay, <laughs> back in the saddle with a freshly charged pair of uh, AA batteries in my Wiimote. Um, what else could possibly go wrong? We are getting a new Bubsy game, so I mean, that is a valid question. But yeah, um... Oh, up there. I see. Aha! We need to come up here and see what we can see, and if we can see the sea, then I suppose we'll see. Okay, well, I mean, we can press A to interact with objects. I don't believe I've been told that thus far. Okay. Pull the Wiimote, twist the Wiimote, push it, pull it, and bop it. Okay. Perhaps twist it and shout it as well. I don't remember if I've ever actually owned one of those, but I think I always wanted to. What is that? Jamming beacon is interrupting remote control signals. Cannot use the command visor while it is active. Well, that's rude. Compound gate sealed shut. Maldium, that's what it is. I think I said that. Analysis indicates high amounts of maldium within the stonework. Well, I can't do jack shit about that as of yet, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, I think I understand how the game wants me to progress with that. Like, there aren't gonna be, like, as far as I think, I don't think there are gonna be any, like, flying ship sections exactly. But, like, it'll be like I land in an area, and right in front of where the ship lands, I can use... Because there was, there was a button in the ship that gave me crosshairs. So, I figure that we're probably going to be able to use that to blow up this Maldium stuff. Okay. So, now that this gate here is down, we can wait for the door to open, because I'm using the Trilogy physical disc. Which is apparently the worst one loading time-wise, so I apologize for that. Large space pirate crates have durable plating. Use of force is required to access the contents. Well, I will access this fellow's contents. That is for damn sure. Okay. 400 kills. Man, we are just very close to a friend voucher, aren't we? Okay, we need to blow this thing up. Or not. We probably just need to shut it down. Do we just interact, or is it a grapple thing? Okay, yep, it's just a grapple thing. Ah, There we go. Okay, that's a very uncomfortable sound, but 
Okay. That's a strange thing to have timed, honestly. That is the wrong button. There we are. Okay, I see. We can just call our ship over to attack it. Okay, then why did it why did it give me like a shield and crosshairs then? There must be like a ship section. Unless it's just purely aesthetic. There are some new enemies here. Creature has entered hyper mode. Okay, well I mean I know that. The heck are you though? Berserker Knight. Phaseite plating can be destroyed by the same phase on attacks it fires. Okay. So basically, hyper mode, hyper mode, hyper mode. Okay, okay, that's not so bad. I'm getting I'm getting used to the combat in this game. Again, it's very, very different from before. But I think I'm beginning to understand how it all works. Alright. So the jamming beacon's gone. Which is good. Is this a landing site? I doubt it. We're so close to another landing site. No, okay. Well, I think we're supposed to go back and uh, tell the ship to attack the thing that was after the Rundus fight. The, the other Maldium bit. But we've already started exploring here, so why don't we just keep doing that first? Are you in hyper mode? You are. Okay. Yeah, it's just stunning it. Any other enemies? Yeah, there are. Somewhere. Okay, shooting me. There it is. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I'm just going to deplete this because I don't want to have that anymore. Okay, okay. Ooh, there's like a little heat wave effect on the end of the, the arm cannon. That's neat. Alright. Um... Anything of note, there's obviously a bomb slot here. Can I... It doesn't look like I can get that high with that. There's also that little little lip of a cord blocking my way, but how else would I get in there? Am I even supposed to get in there? Not, maybe not. It looks like a morph ball thing, though. I swear. Okay. Moving forward. There are these enemies which are probably going to go into hyper mode. If I had to guess. No? Okay, cool. He's <laughs> he just kind of flipped upside down and exploded. He didn't, like, actually dive bomb anything. Okay. That one did, but the first one didn't, and that was kind of funny, honestly. Ooh, it's a... That is a big... Oh, and there's a dude inside of it? What is that? Korak. Okay, okay. Korak beast. Tongue and mouth are sensitive. Belly sometimes vulnerable from the ground. Koraks are prized by the space pirates, who use them as cavalry mounts. Their belly is occasionally vulnerable, but guarded from all sides. Finding a way to get underneath it and attacking it would be effective. Nerve endings in the tail can be stressed through grappling, but only when the tail is extended. The interior of a Korak's mouth, as well as the tip of their tongue, contains sensitive nerve clusters. Attacking these points could temporarily inca incapacitate the creature. They can emit phase on energy through their feet and tongue. 
they the phase light armor they wear will repel most damage. That's a lot of things to remember for one enemy. Pirate Hussar, writer of the vicious Korak, wields energy lance in combat. Okay. Hussars are unusually brave for space pirates, willing to ride the deadly Korak beast into combat. Their phase on energy lances are deadly at any range. Hussars and their mounts have a strange bond. If a Hussar is slain, his Korak will fight to avenge his death. Okay, so I think I'm probably going to go after the Hussar first. That seems like the best course of action here, I think. I can't lock on to him, though. Sadly. Okay, we're gonna phase on it up. Okay, I took him out. Nope, I couldn't. Was that his belly or was that his tail? What the hell? Okay. fight you. I remember the tail thing, but I don't think I've even seen your tail. No, I haven't. I remember that there are nerve endings in your mouth. Hold on, I need to read that again. Nerve endings in the tail, but only when the tail is extended. Which I don't think I've seen the tail extended yet. The interior of the mouth and the tip of the tongue temporarily incapacitate the creature. Okay. Back up. little bit of damage. Okay, I actually have to bomb it. Now what? Okay, tail. Damn it! Okay, um... I was trying to both focus on grabbing the tail and not letting it auto-vent, which was very hard to do simultaneously. We could not do that. That would be cool. Okay. Okay, I got some damage in there. Roll underneath and throw a bomb down. Rinse and repeat. Okay, okay. There we go. Well, that sucked. I did, like, no damage to it. Okay, okay. I figured it out now. Fire at it in the mouth, go underneath it, and take inevitable damage. Do it a second time. It's gonna fall over. Do the tail. Activate hyper mode. Charge up. And let loose. 
Yeah, okay. Get rid of hyper mode, rinse and repeat. Cool, cool, that'll work. There we go, yeah. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Aw, oh, damn it. What the hell are you doing? Oh my goodness. That is. Oh, there's fuel gel over there. Okay. Okay. Come on now. Okay. I hate how it's like impossible not to take damage underneath him. That's kind of a. It's kind of annoying, but I mean. I don't take that much, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, and tail. Pull. Piper mode. Charge. And go home. Really? Come on now. All right, tail. Hit my microphone. Good idea. He's vulnerable for not long at all. And I'm almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, I don't have enough energy for hyper tank. Hyper tank, oh my gosh, hyper mode. Okay, that got stressful. Uh, oh good. More. Okay, well, I if I die to you, then I'm very ashamed. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Not bad, not bad. A little more stressful and that didn't go anywhere near as smoothly as I would have liked it to, but I suppose it could have gone a lot worse. I think the issue was that it took me a little too long to figure out how to, how, what exactly to do within the fight. Okay, so now that I'm safe, is there anything really of note here? Not particularly. Other than some ways to get some health and whatnot, which I will definitely take. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So far, my impression of the game is that they definitely stepped up the combat and tremendously stepped up The areas and the boss battles for sure. Most notably the boss battles. But as a result, so far it looks like exploration's taken a back seat. Cause this It's not a bad thing. I don't think linearity is as bad as a lot of people say it is, but so far it feels a little linear, especially comparing it to Prime 1 and 2. I don't mind that. Again, Fusion is my favorite Metroid game. And Fusion's very linear. So, at least for a long time. But yeah, so, I mean, I don't mind that. It's just, uh, just something that I've noticed. It's not, I'm not pointing out a flaw, but I'm just, it's uh, something that I felt like I should comment on. Okay, okay. Moving forward. Drink water. All right.
Well, uh, moving forward, how many more rooms look like we have? We have a split pathway that goes into a circle. All right. Let's go explore and see just what it has in store. Once we can get past this door. But it looks like instead, it's going to be a whore. That joke ended up being very poor. I should probably stop. At least, let's put you to door. So, so let's scan this to get some lore. What? Okay, there we go. What the heck? That was weird. All right, the hunted. I don't know what happened with the scanning thing there, but it kind of, kind of flipped out. The primals crafted new magics to protect their warriors and sent them into the burning wasteland to hunt the lords of science hiding there. Though we tried to avoid conflict, many science lords were found and ended by primal war bands. I was but the sole survivor, the last remaining lord of science. In order to protect myself, I adopted the wisdom once shared by the Chozo. I, I merged the ways of the new science with the ways of the old, magic. I built mighty monogars out of stone and placed them outside the walls of my home, there to silently protect me from all my enemies. Alright, alright. Very interesting. We seem to be on the other side of where the thing is. Pretty sure right here in the middle, and we were like, I think right in here was where the thing was, right? The blow upable thing? No, that's way in a different area. It looks exactly the same, just about, though. So. Hmm. How do I. How do I go left or right from this room? There are doors. Destroy Western Energy Signature. Okay. Oh, I haven't activated the key yet. Okay, well, there's four more door types. Interesting to know. But... Was there a panel I didn't scan here? There's this. Okay, I think it's just loading the scans, too. Unable to open from this side. What about this one? Same thing? What's going on with the scans here? Okay, there. What in the world is that? Okay, uh... Looks like we've hit... a block in our road. And we aren't moving on. Uh... Nope. Okay, um... What is that? Yeah, I want to know what that is. Leviathan Seed has embedded itself within the planet, currently protected by an energy shield. Okay, so that's the Leviathan Seed. That's good to know. Anti-air cannon Tiamat online. Active sensors online and blah blah blah. Here's that shield generator. Or another one, rather. There's two of them. That's right. Okay, so... Okay. We need to destroy both those things. Can I call... Yeah, I can. Okay. Has it been received? It's taking a while. Okay, there. I don't know if it's just a bug with my game or this is how the trilogy disc acts, but it's... It's acting weird. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I have to deactivate these. There are two anti-aircraft turrets protecting the generator. Your ship will not be able to get a clear shot while those guns are active. Okay. Well, it would appear then that I have hit a dead end because I can't open these. Ice Missile, Hyper Mode, 
Can I fire a missile in hyper mode? No, I can't. At least not yet. No. Okay. Well. Uh. We explored what we. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna run back to the save point. And. Uh, I was gonna end off the episode, but. Um, I suppose we'll keep on going then. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. What do we have over here? We have a ledge thing, ledge grab, walkway is lowered into position, fuel gel tanks fastened underneath. Okay. So we'll take care of that and just blow up the walkway entirely because we don't need it. Okay, I need to start being... I mean, I suppose that hasn't hurt me too much, but I feel like I'm overusing hyper mode. I don't know. Tell me guys right now. Am I, am I overusing hyper mode, or am I using it an okay amount? I'm not totally certain. This rock looks very suspicious. But it's not blow-uppable. Disappointingly. Okay. Um... There are some nice friendly turrets over here. Remorse class turret, space pirate defense system, susceptible to explosive blasts. Fast targets can evade the limited targeting system of the remorse turret. The space pirates have replaced their dated humility turrets with a new unit designed by top engineers. Powered by Phazon, of course, the remorse unit is capable of withstanding more damage than the earlier model. Not that much more, though, it would appear. Okay. Were there field gel tanks running by? Is that what I saw? I think so. That door opened immediately. That's good. It can take two, two shard... Fuck. It can take two charge shots instead of just one. So let's go ahead and scan. What did I say? Operate the underside valve to open all the ammunition chambers. Okay. First and foremost, though, we need to defeat some space pirates. Alright, any more of them? Yes, there are. Okay, I guess he died before before hitting the, uh, the field gel. Popping around the corner every now and again. Any more? Any other guys wanna take me on? I can hear somebody. There he is. Where did you come from? Okay. It would appear as though... I... Nope, I didn't kill all the space pirates, never mind. Okay, 
you're in hyper mode. So. I take care of you as such. And then. What, is this a shield here? It is. Let me scan it, please. Electro grapple forces. Okay, there we go. And I assume that those two space pirates keep respawning. Yeah, it, that appears to be the case for sure. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Don't be like that. Okay. I should probably also blow up the rest of the fuel gel in the room. Not sure if that actually matters, but it would make sense. Stun locking in there. There we go. Oh god, more. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Okay. There we are. I seem to, for some reason, have a hard time figuring out exactly what it is I'm supposed to do. Like, when it comes to... Phase on overload? What happened? I didn't even activate hyper mode at all. What the heck? Did that just happen regardless of my will? That would have seemed to have been the case there, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Uh, any more of you? No? Okay, good. Alright. Deactivated. Unit is beyond repair. Fantastic. Alright, let's go take care of one more. There we are. More of you guys. Whatever that was, it was destroyable. Ooh. Riddled with energy burns from drone and turret weapon fire. Okay. Um, what is this? Anything important at all? Nope. Okay. These are hyper mode things, right? The soft bodies of Phazon fungus are easily damaged by weapon fire. These organisms are commonly found in areas that are highly concentrated with Phazon. The growths can be highly destructive and will feed on any organic matter. As the fungus grows, it corrupts the surrounding area further and will continue to spread out. Okay, well I don't want that, of course. Maybe we do want that, because Phazon, Phazon is our friend this game, as well as our enemy. Phazon is everywhere. This is truly a Phazon war.
Not sure if destroying those is doing anything for me, but... I mean... Doesn't seem to be hurting, at the very least. Okay. There is a hole in the ground, it looks like. No? Okay, that's not a more fault thing to go under. It looks like there's... Like, a path underneath here? Maybe? Kinda, sorta? Looking for anything that might be underneath the platform? No? Okay. Prime 2 got me very, very anxious to find all the collectibles ever. Alright, what is the point of that? That's fuel gel. Uh, definitely don't want to go in that, so I'm not going to take this more ball bit here. This room, I'll have to remember this room for later when we can do something about field gel other than freeze it. Okay. More target practice drones. Subject appears to have been cornered and shot by six different attackers. That's the space pirates for you. Pirate proximity mine explodes when approached to detonate from a safe distance. That was not a safe distance? Okay. Lesson learned. Shrapnel embedded within the target's body suggests he was killed by a mine explosion. Alright, more of you. Okay, okay, gotta back up. Is there a mine on the wall? I just didn't see. Alright, are we almost to that other turret? We are at the area of that other turret. Okay, okay. So let's deal with this. Cool, there's flying dudes now. Okay, what did you do? Valve is used to manually open the cannon's ammunition chambers, held in place by multiple clamps. Okay, okay. So I have to get up there. Anti-air cannon TMA online. Operate the underside, of course. As per usual. Okay, so while they're taking their time to respawn, we'll jump up here and fall right off because I pressed the B button a second too late. And we're going to have to grapple this, I'm sure. Yep, okay. So, take care of you first. Because you're going to be very, very annoying. What was that? Oh, was it those? Yeah, that seems to be what it was. Okay. I don't want to enable hyper mode because I don't think that I need to right now. But there goes one clamp. Now the question is, are they going to actively try to reactivate the clamps? Or once a, is, is it that once a clamp is pulled, the other ones are also pulled? Hopefully it's the latter. The latter would be preferable. Preferable. There we are. Perfect execution? What does that mean? 
What did I execute perfectly? You mean that... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know what I executed perfectly. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it had to do something with pulling the levers, but how did I... Maybe it's because I didn't fall back down here, or... I'm not sure, but anyway, we uh, went ahead and did that. There's a door back there, which is odd, and I need to explore that. So I suppose this time you guys are getting an extra long episode. Okay, how do I get to that door? Through this tunnel. No, that's not it. No, it's behind me now. Okay. Through this tunnel, what is it? It doesn't show anything on my map for it. No, that wasn't it either. How do I get... That's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Let me back down. Okay. So right now, after I take a right, it should be over here. Relatively. Up there. There it is. Okay, on the map. On this side, can I make that jump? I can. Energy, gener energy generator can power large devices. You know, maybe, maybe moved to a new location. Okay. Pretty sure I don't have the ability to do that yet. That's probably going to be another thing involving the ship. There's supposed to be a door right behind here, but I can't get to it as of yet. So, pretty sure we're going to have to get another ship upgrade for that, because that would make more sense than like a physical upgrade on Samus. So, I'll have to remember that door, which is good, because I'm not, I'm not bad at forgetting things. Rather, I'm not bad at remembering to go back to things. Okay, I haven't scanned you, apparently. Shield Pirate Trooper. Battle Shield... Uh, I'm pretty sure I've read this. Phazon-based attacks are capable of destroying the shield. Well, I mean, I can just pull it from them anyway, right? Yeah. So why would I waste Phazon? That just seems silly. <laughs> he just straight up fell. Oh, what a... Oh, wow, that was funny. Okay, I see that missile expansion there. I had a split second to register that that was there. Anyone else? No? Okay. Let's go up and get that missile expansion. Time to bomb jump. Oh! Nope, there's a thing in the way. Damn it. I thought I was cool. Well, this is in current position. Well, we need to fix that. Also, let's scan the missile expansion. Just says missile expansion. That's all you really need to know. Okay. So, uh... Oh, I fucked up. I fell. Man. By clamps. Like, these clamps up here? Oh, I see. Sorta. There we go. Alright, well... Do I really have to go all the way back around for that? I mean, that's gonna... That's gonna suck, but I'll do it anyway for the views. Okay. 
so first and foremost, we'll go ahead and defeat these guys and destroy the shield thing while we're over here. I don't want to use hyper mode. There we go. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and destroy the shield. Or one of the generators, rather. That is taken care of, and now we are going to go heal up the save station first, and save. Come now, there we go. Save station was right here, I believe. Nope. I was wrong. And I just can't live without you. Alright, so we will save. And heal. And we're gonna go walk all the way back around to see if I can grab that missile expansion before I forget about it. Okay, now that I've decided not to just flat out walk off the edge this time, we're gonna pull it. Oh, it's a pump. Dang it. I was gonna say, I was gonna make another Bop It reference, but it wasn't gonna work. It just wasn't gonna happen. Now, I'm not gonna be lame and take the normal way. I'm gonna bomb jump. Yeah. Look at me, I'm cool. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Anyway, uh, we destroyed one of the shield generators, and we can easily destroy the other one at the beginning of the next episode and then continue on from there. So thank you all for watching today's episode of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly, and I hope to see you guys right over the back there in Fiery Brio with the next one. <laughs>